Shalom and welcome to Simmons of Torah. This year is entitled Afyomi Rabatra Kuf Nun Bet. The Mara talks about the Shriv Meirah. It's been discussing this for quite a while, a person is deathbed. And the Gemara really points out what's so unique about the Shriv Meirah. One on his deathbed, he goes ahead and he just makes a statement. And that is a Kenyan. He's giving over his possessions to another person. And when does the transaction occur? After he dies. So he goes ahead, and just by a statement, normally a kinya on a transaction needs more than that. Mamon works. As the Gemara talks about in Hazahav, you need money. You need to pull the object. You need to write to maybe money itself is enough. And then Drabani needs to pull the object. Different opinions, Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Shlakish, over them, but we see in Hazahav. But just a word? You just make a statement, and that's one of the unique aspects of the Shriv Meirah, a dying person, the Takana Midrabanan from the rabbis, that just making a statement goes ahead and causes a Kenyan transaction to occur when he dies. So the Gemara and Kuf Nun Bet discusses what happens if he asks the person to write a star. He doesn't have a statement. He wants to write a star, which normally the ultimate uh, deal is with the star. It's written out. It's clear. It only helps over here. It's fascinating that to the discussion because once he brings a star, a contract, so maybe by bringing a contract, so he wants the transaction with the contract, which is great normally, but then he goes and he dies. And the star, for the star first to be effective now when he dies, and it was not effective when he's alive, that's not the Takana, the institution of Shrimira. Shrimira is a specific institution. He makes a statement, and the effects of this statement are when he dies. That's the transaction. Once he brings a star, a contract into the equation, that could throw things off. This is brought down in the Shulchan Aruch in Choshen Mishpat in Reish Nun Sif Yud Chet, where the discussion occurs over there in terms of the Psak Halacha. Shalom.